sir. See you sneaking into that liquor store, young man. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't ya? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Sorry, Einstein. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing.
Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town well. Honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe figs about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Rebuilt in February, 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date! Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Man, she keeps it hot in here. the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. 
The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out, get out, get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? It's a costume. Uh, tonight's the big uh, Halloween party. Halloween party? In May? Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Time circuits? On. Flux capacitor? Uh, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy?
young man. Excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see! Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did! With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors.